Hi there, welcome here guys, Philip here. In uh, this video I would like to show you my newest course I'm currently working on and it's already available on academy.eincode.com. So let's take a look what you are going to learn in this one. Okay, so this is the Next.js course and you can see here a preview of the application you are going to build. It will be e-commerce applications. We have a very simple store of the products where you can buy the products. As I mentioned, it, this will be made in a Next.js framework together with a TypeScript. Everything we'll be writing will be in a TypeScript and also will be integrating with the Shopify. Okay, so I will show you very shortly the code base I have prepared, all the lectures I have prepared, but first I need to mention one thing here. You may be already encountered very similar application, similar project, and uh, yeah, there is one. It's actually from official uh, developers of uh, Next.js framework. You can preview it when you will search here for e-commerce Next.js GitHub. All right, and these guys created this uh, project originally, okay? I have reworked this project. I prepared the lectures from, uh, from it and I simplified it a lot. So it's uh, easier to watch for uh, normal users and it's uh, good for, uh, for students to learn on this project. So the base idea came from this project and all of the credits are going to the guys, to the original developers of the Next.js and also they have prepared the design of the application, everything. I have just used their GitHub repository and I prepared the code from it so you can learn in the best possible way the Next.js because it's from original authors so you have the best practices, you will be, you'll be working on this course, okay? So here it is, e-commerce, Veracell. I'm highly encouraging you to check this project out. You can also preview it on a Next.js website and we will be creating clone of this, okay? Okay, with that said, uh, we can take a look at uh, what this application will be uh, doing. Okay, so we'll have a uh, here products, very nice uh, design of application. Uh, as a CSS framework, we'll be using uh, Tilewind. Okay, so we'll be using Tilewind together with the post CSS, which is amazing. I have discovered it before I started to work on this course. Po uh, Tilewind is amazing, really. I had a very good time to work with uh, the CSS framework. So, for example, I can click here on some product. All right, this will lead me to the product detail page uh, where I can uh, choose the parameter of the product I would like to get. So, of course, there are images and so on. Okay, some duplication of the images. I can choose the color and the size and I can add this to the card. As soon as, as soon as it will be added to the card, you can either delete or increment, decrement this product or you can proceed to check out. Okay, so for example, I can choose some other products. I can go back to base page and I will cho choose here this shirt. I'll add here more products. All right, add to cart and I will, let's say I will increment this one. So I want two, two shirts to buy. Okay, well, the, get this, the price will update and uh, then, I, then I can proceed to checkout, okay? So I can proceed to checkout and this should open me checkout page where I can order the product and this is integrated with Shopify and uh, yeah, you have here the, the form, you can fill it up and you can continue and, and you can proceed in shopping. All right, so uh, that's the project basically. Uh, there are also other pages we'll be working on when you will see the code base, it's quite a lot of code actually. It's a lot of components, a lot of things you will be coding, a lot of interesting uh, patterns. And um, yeah, there is also this uh, cart uh, window, then you have also wishlist uh, window, and uh, then you have a home page and a detailed page of the product. I would like to show you now the code base. And also one interesting thing, uh, I have reworked this project uh, I reworked this project so it will be working also locally. I have prepared for you local server, so you don't need to at all connect to Shopify. You don't need to pay anything on the Shopify in order to test it out. You, you can first test out these functionalities and then if you want, you can just purchase Shopify if you're interested. But this will work, everything will work, work with the local server. I will show you now that you can just change here. In, here is our project, by the way. Here you can just change in the environment variables that you don't want to look, work with the provider of a Shopify, but rather a local provider like this, I just changed this, I need to now recompile the project, so I will recompile this, All right? Recompile, and um, yeah, after that, you will see the same project, but it will be working uh, locally, it will be not connecting anywhere. Okay, so when I will go back, you will not spot any difference, actually. So when I will refresh here, everything will be as before. 
Okay, well, uh, one thing I need to do, I need to clean up the uh, cookies because cookies are still saved from the previous Shopify session. So I just need to clean up cookies here. Let me get here, cookies. All right. Oh, actually, yeah, here, perfect. Okay, we'll refresh one more time just to be sure that everything is correct. And yeah, it's working as uh, the previous application. Now it's working locally. You, you're not connecting anywhere. Okay, you're not connecting anywhere. And uh, yeah, it should work. I can choose here things. I can add them to the card. Everything is working. You can see, I can remove my card. It's empty. I can add here more products. Add to cart. Add this one. Can increment the price updating. And everything, everything is working. And this is working locally. I can uh, show you the server that's running. Uh, server is actually running here. Here is my server I have prepared for you. Very simple server. Server uh, with a lot, lot of examples for you. Okay, example folder. You have here all of the mutations and all the queries you can use. It's a GraphQL server, so we'll be using, uh, we'll have a basically GraphQL API. Okay, but the code perspective on our main application, Xgrid's application, as I mentioned, everything will be made in a TypeScript. We will have a couple of pages. You can visit them here. Everything will be professional, clean. Everything will have a types. It's a very good project for learning. I will spend, I think, just uh, 50 lectures just explaining TypeScript features. So you can see everything will be very nice organized. We'll have a different support of the frameworks. We'll be supporting Shopify and also other frameworks. And uh, then, yeah, everything will be through the hook functions. We'll have a different hook functions for updating the card, uh, like adding item, removing item, updating our item, and so on. So everything will be like a hook function, and everything will be really explained on very, very simple examples. We'll be working from the base, and it'll be, it'll be nesting up and up and up, so you will learn all these features. And you will see it's not, so, it's not that hard to make such a project in a very, very nice, uh, ni nice way. Okay, so... Maybe code will not say you much right now, but all of this you will be creating with me in the course. Yeah, I think that's what I want to say. You can already preview some of the code I will be sharing on a GitHub. Everything links are in the description. Also, the link to the course is in the description. If you want to find the course, academy.incode.com. There I'll be adding the lectures. I, I need to mention the course is not complete yet. If I already recorded, I think, around 80 lectures. In total, there, there should be around 200 lectures. So there is still 120 to go, but I'm adding around 8, 10 lectures a day. So if you want to learn in this way that you are watching every day a couple of lectures, it's very good. I will, complete, I will finish it in probably in two weeks, three weeks, but there is already a lot of hours of content. Okay, so yeah, it will be added here. Uh, maybe it's not yet here, uh, but I will be adding it today. So at the time when you will be watching the video, it should be already uploaded in the course. You, you will see it as a first course here. And uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions, uh, yeah, ask them in the comment section. I'll try to, I'll try to answer them. And uh, with all of this, I hope to see you in most of my, my other videos. And one more thing, I will be adding also my developer updates. So I've, I will be working on the course. I will be also publishing the updates, how I'm progressing with the course. And now that should be really it. And I hope to see you in some of my other videos. Cheers.